Hello guys, let's talk about computers and laptops. I want to give you the things that you should look before you are buying, before you buy a laptop or a computer. The first thing you need to look at is the RAM, read random access memory. Now this is where your running applications will be stored temporarily as the processor works on them. So what you need to look at is the size of the RAM and also the generation. Nowadays we use DDR4, so we are moving from DDR3. The DDR4 has, has better speeds. Typically they usually run at 2400 megahertz, but of course they can go higher than that. You can get 3200 megahertz and in fact some tests recently showed up to 7 7 gigahertz that is 7000 megahertz so you should look for a laptop or a computer that is compatible with ddr4 or uses a ddr4 ram the next thing that you would like to look into is the solid state drive or solid state disk you don't want to use a hard disk the normal the traditional hard disk which is magnetic and which is slower solid states provide speeds of up to typically they usually run at 500 megabytes per second but the traditional hard disks usually uh, operate at around 100 megabytes per second so you should go for a laptop or a, or a computer a desktop that uses hard disk that uses a solid state disk rather than a hard disk now the third component is the processor your processor should be the latest and you should check to see the number of cores that the processor runs on and also you should check and see the base frequency and the turbo boost frequency the base frequency is, mini is generally the minimum frequency and then there is the turbo boost frequency which is the maximum frequency so you should check and see typically they should be a good one should be not less than two gigahertz per core and you should look for a laptop or a computer that has at least four cores that is a computer that at least will run on modern operating systems without giving you a problem because you remember modern operating systems like Windows even Ubuntu and Mac OS nowadays they typically run at 2 gigahertz a dual core that is for minimum but for comfortable use you want to use a 4 core and a 2 gigahertz per core and that you'll be good to go one thing also that you should look into that is not so important but uh, you should also consider is the battery the size of the battery so that you want a laptop or a if you're buying a laptop of course you want a laptop that you can use for some time in case you are not in a place where there is power or in case of a power blackout and what you should also look at is the motherboard that the computer uses because it is the motherboard that will give you the ability to use because remember all these modules whether it is RAM whether it is the processor all these are mounted on the motherboard so you are ma the, the more the more modern the motherboard the more it can support the high speed modules whether it is ram or the processor so that is it i hope you guys now have an int when you're looking to buy a laptop make sure to check the speed of the processor Make sure to check the RAM size 
it should be DDR4 because you're moving away from DDR3 and also make sure to check that you're using SSD not the traditional hard disk HDD uh, thanks guys I hope that has helped you a lot and hope to see you next time subscribe to my channel for more videos like this